Yar har and welcome to the Outlaw Artifact quest for the Rogue in the World of Warcraft Legion. Today we're going after this artifact, the Dreadblades. Oh my god. Uh, let's talk to J Lord Jorak Ravenholt and let's get our pirates on. What is it? As I'm sure you recall, we have retained our final set of plans to obtain a weapon of immense power. No pressure, of course, but if you wish to pursue it, just let me know. Until next time. This is, or these are the Dreadblades, uh, the Dread Admiral Eliza is known as the Scourge of the South Seas. Many have learned to fear her cursed blades. We've tracked her anchored off the coast of Azuna in the Broken Isles. Her blade can be yours if you hurry. Let's go and get these. And the quest requires us to be, or it doesn't require us to be outlaw, but it is designed for the outlaw spec, which means we are going to change, but we don't have any weapons. I'm gonna fix that. Let's you just talk to Jorak ear. first. I couldn't agree more. Was that That'd be a fine choice. Come here. I'll share the finer details of my plan over a mug or two. Aye, a share Good the mugs. I like to offer you an accord. The Dread Admiral Eliza wields a pair of cursed blades that have made her the scourge of the South Seas. She also stole one of his best ships, the Horizon's Edge, and as it anchored off the coast of Azuna as we speak. If you help me take back my ship, then her cursed blades are yours. Now, assuming that sounds agreeable, meet me aboard the Crimson Vale. We have her docked right in Booty Bay. Not a cheap arrangement. Stop it! That's the spirit. I'll meet you in Booty Bay. That's a nice arr, arr arrangement. All right. Now, before we go, we need to grab ourselves some weapons. These are the short blade of the uncrowned, or the short blades, as they are plural. And we'll be using these as our weapon in the quest. Uh, so you can get them from Kelsey Steel Spark hey! right here. And she sells some, some nice roguey yeah, stuff. Uh, they are reskins of the, uh, the crafted swords, I guess, from Warlords of Draenor, if you're curious. Let's head to Booty Bay by taking some portals to Karazhan and flying down there. And then we're going to meet up with Tethys at his ship. The Blood Sail, uh, the Crimson Veil, I guess it's called. Your heart diddly do, little doodle diddly do, copyright song, diddly do, I am a pirate. And here we are. And I've used the occasion to change into a more piratey outfit. Like this one. Arr, I'm the captain. And we'll be having a journey, arr, and pirate puns. <laughs> Never mind. Let's talk Listen to this. Raise a mug for the outlaw that's gonna take the dreadblades from that blasted Eliza's cold dead hands! This lady does not care about me at all. <laughs> Aye? Aha! I knew you'd come. Keep your sights on the horizon. I can promise you a safe journey to Eliza's position. But once we're there, well, we both know there'll be no guarantees. The plan is simple. We'll take the Crimson Veil as close as we can, get her without being seen and disembark from there. Once we're ashore, we'll board the Horizon's Edge, bribe her munitions crew and to hand it over and hunt down Eliza and her new legendary blades, whatever she may be. Just say the word when you're ready. Be seeing you. Just let me know when you're ready. Eliza won't know what's coming for her. Let's go. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Hoist the sails. Reel in the anchor. Ready yourselves, you salty dogs. Asuna awaits. And here we are. We've made landfall. So we can see the ship there. And we've taken this little boat towards the end of the south, southern end of the temple here in Azuna. Let's get a move on. The horizon's edge be just over this ridge. Sure, take the ship. You sneak past the guards and make sure the first mate sees our side of things, hmm? We'll join you after that. Good luck out there. I'll be watching for your signal. So yeah, if you haven't Guess it by now, she commandeers a crew of these dread pirates, the undead scourge of the lands, or, or I guess of the of the seas. Gotta be careful with these mines on the ground. Just gotta stealth around them. 
And then we approach, oh, watch out for the dog. Uh, we approach the ship. Let's sap this guy. And this guy. Swab the dicks till they shine, you dirty bags of bones. The Dread Admiral demands perfection. How did you get past me, crew? Useless, the lot of you. The rest of the Dread Fleet is on its way. What's your plan then? That's an offer I can't refuse. Fall back to the temple. They can have this pile of driftwood. The horizon's edge is ours, lads. Ain't she a beauty? You'll be finding Eliza in the temple ruins ahead. Keep your wits about you. Her whole crew's onto us now. We'll provide naval support as soon as we're up and running. Keep your eyes peeled. The Admiral is not to be disturbed. As you can see, they have stealth dogs, they have snipers. Lots of dangerous things that we need to be careful with. By the way, if you die, you start over at the beginning. Woohoo! So, you're the one who stole my ship and killed my crew. Release the giant! I have business to attend to within the temple. Pleasure, Admiral. All will know the blades of dread, Admiral Elisa! entire fleets. Impenetrable fortresses have gushed rivers of blood by their will. To utter their name instills fear in sailors' hearts. They know no equal. I know no equal. Turn back now and you may yet live to tell the tale. Destroy them. Your blades thirst! It will be my pleasure. I have already seen my death. I am the scourge of the seas. The fear in sailor's heart. You are nothing! Enough! I'll run you through! We can't hold him off forever! Get the lead out of your boots and get out of there! You made it out in one piece? Ha! Ah, and you have him! I've seen no finer swords in all my days. 
We'll sail to Dalaran. It's a short voyage from here. I'll meet you in the Hall of Shadows. Let's have a chat. You did fine work today, lad. Stop by any time. Thank you. So, now we have the Dreadblades uh, of Eliza. We have Fate and Fortune. Very nice. So, the flavor text says she saw herself commanding an impossibly large pirate fleet. One that could conquer the high seas and all the nations of Azeroth. Every ship that dared to challenge her burned, and every city gave up its treasure or was destroyed. No blade can shed the blood of so many innocents and not demand a toll on its wielder as well. They are no treasure. So apparently she was cursed by the blade, a tale of pirates, uh, classic tale. Uh, so uh, these guys are pretty, pretty interesting. As you can see here, the equip grants a, uh, the curse of the Dreadblade's ability, which lets you use finishing moves, uh, finishers more rapidly at a price. This refers to the ability we learn called Curse of the Dreadblades. Invoke the Curse of the Dreadblades causing each saber slash or pistol shot to fill your combo points. However, the Dreadblades will consume 5% of your current health when you use a finishing move for the next 12 seconds. Luckily though, you can use the Cloak of Shadows to negate the damage. We get Cursed Edges, which is the first one, increases damage by Saber Slash by 15%, which is our main damage dealing ability. We also have another, a couple of golden traits we can unlock. Blunderbuss, when Saber Slash strikes an additional time, there is a 33% chance that your next pistol shot will be replaced with a Blunderbuss, oh my god. Draws a concealed Blunderbuss and fires a quick shot at the target, dealing lots of damage and reducing movement speed. You also have Blurred Time. During Adrenaline Rush, your ability cooldowns recover 15% faster. That is the ability that grants us uh, quicker energy and also increases the attack speed. And lastly, we have Greed. Run Through occasionally awakens the Dreadblades, unleashing a sweeping attack against all nearby enemies for lots of physical damage and also healing you. Interesting. Uh, that is a finishing move, by the way. So if you're using that in synergy with uh, the, uh, the Curse of the Dreadblades, it kind of refills your health. Uh, Appearance-wise, we have these blades right here, purple and, uh, oh my god, these are really, really nice for an undead. We also have these ones, black, uh, promise of the sea scourge, those are so good looking. Probably one of my favorite ones. And we have these, the, uh, these ones, the flames kiss, fire version, blue fire and teal, oh, and white fire. These have a really interesting design. And we have Scoundrel's Last Word, which are kind of opposite, look like hooks of some sort. Blue, red, and these. The appearance of the hidden ones, the final one we can't really take a look at right now. By the way, take a look at this anvil. It's insane looking. My god, I do love this. When the blades go in. That was it for the pirate weapons, the dread blades of Eliza. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below and a comment if you want to ask me something or have something to say. Uh, don't forget to check out the playlist for more of these videos. There will be uh, the artifacts and the quests for all the classes and all the playthroughs in there. It's in the description and the annotations after this. Uh, thank you for watching. I've been Crudeless and I'll see you next time.